SC2 Rakeback is actually a pet project of mine. Uh, I'm a professional poker player, and in my spare time between sessions, there's nothing I like to do more than uh, play StarCraft. So myself, I'm a master level Zerg player, so <laughs> I play a lot. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm noticing big things going on in esports and in the StarCraft II community in North America right now. I mean, uh, we see In Control, um, the launching of NASL, mm -hmm. uh, IDRA coming back to North America from Korea. Like, if, if a professional sees the potential as well and is coming, I mean, there are big things. And, and I really want to be a part of that and, and help, help really push that agenda forward. And uh, in order for me to, to do that and to, to get the funds and the income coming into the community, I need the poker players to support the SC2 Rakeback website. And uh, Rakeback is an essential, essential part of any poker player's uh, repertoire. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a tool that they need to actually generate income. So if poker players are already playing with a Rakeback deal, they might as well do it through SC2 Rakeback to benefit esports and benefit StarCraft in North America. Awesome, man. Well, I want to thank you so much. For, uh, for putting this whole show on. I'm really excited for these games that we're about to watch. And uh, if it's all the same to you, man, I'm going to hang up on your ass, and we're going to get this show rolling. <laughs> Sounds good. Can't wait, Ben. All right, Barry, enjoy the show. Thank you. See, See you. Okay, guys, and uh, on that note, I'm going to uh, jump in. This is a best of five played, before, played between uh, TLO and Cats. Uh, these games were played earlier in the week. I am casting from replays. Uh, obviously, the first to three is the victor and oh, don't, don't, oh, oh, okay well y'all can see how long the first game is uh, first to five is the victor so I can just do this oh shit bam now y'all can't see uh, so uh, as I was saying these, are, these games are being cast from replays so uh, if you I, I don't think anybody could possibly know the results but if you do keep a lid on it uh, remember if you want to submit your predictions you got to get them in right now the, the clock is ticking this is your last chance we're giving away a hundred dollars at the end of the night and I want uh, I want uh, all of you guys that are interested to get your votes in uh, so let's jump into this first game TLO versus cats uh, the map is Metalopolis first in the best of five let's go All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we have Root Cats spawning as the orange Zerg player here on the right-hand side of the map. The map is, of course, Metalopolis. Uh, Cats, probably the, uh, if not the most popular Zerg streamer on Team Liquid, one of them. Uh, touted for his creativity and for his unorthodox play, uh, Cats has been successful at every level and is definitely one of the most exciting Zerg players in North America. His opponent, of course, needs no introduction. That's Liquid TLO spawning as the Purple Terran right up here at 12 o'clock. Uh, TLO opting to play Terran for all five of these games. So uh, not randoming for this series. Uh, Going to go with the Terran because uh, I guess he feels like that's the best way to bring home the bacon. And as we can see here, TLO is starting to wall in there at the top of his ramp. And on the Zerg side of the map. Uh, nothing really too interesting happening. Overlord scoping out the natural, making sure no bunkers are going down. Uh, drones just mining away diligently. Uh, very uneventful uh, early game here. Uh, there is the first racks down for TLO. There's the production tab for you fine folks. And looks like a scouting SCV on his way out. Uh, now we are going to notice that TLO is going to get his gas. This is very important. Uh, in, uh, in TVZ and in ZVT for both players to, to recognize what's happening here. This uh, refinery first opening is probably going to be indicative of some kind of Hellion play. Now, I'm going to be eating my words if he puts down a second gas. But for all you Zerg players from home that are watching, when you scout this one gas Terran, very often that means he's going to open with some kind of Hellions into tech. So I'm expecting obviously just this single Rax. Uh, maybe a reactor will go down. Maybe a factory will go down. We will see. Uh, and let's jump over here to Katz's side of the map. We see that Katz has, got, has gone for the fast expansion. And there's the pool. So probably a 15 hatch, 15 pool. Uh, no gas as of yet. And just uh, send in that drone scout. This drone scout's going to be too late to see anything. He's going to be walled out. And 
Uh, whether or not he realizes that yet is anybody's guess. Overlord poking over. He's going to try to get a look at how many gases are mining. Katz knows that he has to, ca uh, he has to catch the gas count. If he sees one mining gas, he's probably going to be thinking Hellion. If he sees any more or any less than that, well, it's anybody's guess. Here we see the first factory going down for TLO. And two Marines out. This is kind of interesting. I'm curious to know uh, whether or not these Marines are going to be going all the way across the map or if they're just poking out to clear the towers. And they are going to walk up here on the Zelnaga Tower. They're going to deal with this drone. And wha they're still going to move on across the map to continue pressuring uh, continue pressuring cats. This is very interesting. You don't see many Terran players pushing out with these two Marines. And the reason for that is pretty obvious. All Zerg has to do is make uh, one or two sets of Zerglings, and the Marines are going to be dealt with. <laughs> but but Katz was droning, and he doesn't have anything out. He might lose an Overlord here, TLO being very bold with these first two mar Marines. Uh, these early game Overlords are the most important ones of all. Uh, lings and drones being pulled off the line. This Overlord is pr oh, it's definitely going to fall, I say. Nope, he's he, uh, nope, not microing it well enough. The Lings do uh, manage to clean that up. Cats saving the Overlord. And a cute little harassment there from TLO, forcing just one set of Lings. Cats doing a very good job not to overreact and make eight Lings or six Lings, only two. And on the uh, Terran side of the map, we see second factor going down. We are having some Hellions being produced. Uh, no more Marines and a very, very fast expansion here from TLO. This is a very in vogue style that we're starting to see a lot of these days. Uh, one racks into factory. Hellion on the way out across the map. This is going to easily clear this Zelnaga Tower and give TLO complete map control. Uh, StarCraft II is a game of information and of denying information. And if TLO is able to clear up these towers, if he's able to keep his opponent in the dark, it's going to play to his advantage. So Hellion is moving out across the map as people are messaging me rudely. And uh, and as w I said before, uh, Hellions just kind of poking into the expansion. Looks like they might try to get a couple drone kills. This is actually pretty critical. Cats doesn't have any units out at all, only four slow Zerglings. And these Hellions are going to do a great deal of damage before the... No, there's no way these Lings are going to clean this up. Hellions going to kill all the Zerglings. They've already gotten a couple drone kills. If you look here, five and four, nine kills on these Hellions respectively. These are so cost effective. More drones being roasted. Two more drones go down before the Queen finally does pick off one of those Hellions. And TLO just microing diligently, lining up a lot of drones there. They're taking tons of damage. I don't know if he's going to get any more kills. There are roaches out now. Oh, my God, two more drones going down. Huge damage being dealt by TLO. The two-basing Zerg player wants to be ahead in drones in this situation, and he's not. 29 drones to 28 SCVs and mules. Uh, this is not an ideal position. We, we do have roaches out. Hellions continuing to harass. TLO famously used this Hellion harass uh, way back in the early uh, stages of video. More drones going down. Oh my god, the damage. Uh, I think that was seven more drones that died. Um, two kills on that Hellion, four on that one. As another drone drops, 23 drones to 31 SCVs. And in the Terran base, we see three factories with uh, tech labs. Siege tank production has begun. A few marauders are out. Bunker down. TLO looking so strong right now. If we look at the APMs, uh, both players playing at a very healthy pace. 160 APM out of uh, the little one and uh, 180 out of cats. And we'll notice look at, uh, TLO uh, using, uh, using five hotkeys this time instead of the two that we're accustomed to seeing. Back on the units tab, uh, we see cats has these four roaches and he's trying to pressure some. But uh, two marauders and a siege tank are going to have no problems cleaning that up, and the economical situation here for Zerg is just dire as more drones die to the Hellion harass. TLO relentlessly uh, keeping the pressure on his opponent. That, uh, that Hellion does finally fall. On the production tab, we see drones and roaches on the way for Cats. Cats is, is a mile and a half behind here, guys. Uh, 27 drones to 34. TLO looking very sharp. His Terran is uh, certainly one of the best in the world, and it looks like he is going to just go ahead and push now. Uh, with uh, three siege tanks, uh, marauders, uh, three marauders, and a couple hellions with SCV support. And Katz is not going to be ready, guys. He's got four roaches out, and he's droning right now. Spire on the way. I feel like uh, our friend Katz is in dire straits as these tanks are bearing down on the natural. Uh, four roaches out. Still producing drones. Uh, two lings are on the way. No chance of defending this. Katz going to sack it. Uh, and hope that his Spire can finish in time to get a few Mutas out. 
uh, pulling all of his drones, Queen and uh, a Roach uh, bringing up the rear here. Marauders and Siege Tanks are so good against literally everything that Cats has. A couple Lings coming out, but those are going to be short-lived. 16 Lings on the way. This hatchery is definitely going to fall. And uh, TLO going to be content with that. He's just going to turn around and go home. Uh, Hellion's going to clean up the Broodlings. Uh, this Marauder does finally fall, but... Uh, Man, the damage has been done. There's very, I mean, it's looking grim for Cats, who did finally catch up in drones, 38 to 40, but now his natural's gone. And he's so oversaturated here that it doesn't even matter. If you look at the incomes, TLO almost doubling him. Uh, Spire is finishing here for Cats, who is con uh, for, for Cats, and he is still under the gun. TLO keeping the pressure on. Uh, he's going to turn right, right back around with, the, with these four Hellions, these three, st these three tanks, and these Marauders. Uh, Mutas are on the way. There is nothing in this army that can shoot up, but I, I really I don't know that it matters. I feel like too much damage has already been taken. Uh, this spine crawler is going to fall, and the base of TLO we see Thors on the way. Uh, those <laughs> those three Thors are going to easily deal with the with the four Mutas being built by Cat. So the Mutas do pop out, and he's going to chase this away. Uh, Hellion's going to try to run past into the main and do a little bit of damage, but once again, guys, I feel like uh, I feel like the damage has been dealt. Uh, Cat's going to poke out with these mutas and see if he can't uh, kind of reverse uh, the fortunes a little bit. But he's going to run into these Thors, and ooh, that's all she wrote for Cats. Uh, two mutas dying. Uh, four are out. One more on the way. And uh, I feel like we are fast approaching the waning moments of this game. Cat's trying to take the gold base here. Now, I will go out on a limb and say that if uh, there is a player in the world that can come back from this position, it's Cats. And the way he does it is with crazy plays like this, expanding to the gold, because he has to make up the ground that he's lost. Uh, so we see uh, TLO still just playing slow and steady, adding to that big mech ball that he's already uh, established for himself, pumping Thors and Hellions off of three factories, and just steadily pumping Marauders off of a single barracks. It uh, looks like he doesn't care to add any more siege tanks than what he already has. He's getting siege mode. Uh, Cat's double expanding. And this is what you got to do, man. You have to, uh, to overexpand. And you have to uh, you have to harass, and the harassment part not going to happen because TLO is just uh, too well fortified here. Look at these Thors, uh, seven Thors. <laughs> oh dear, cats! Seven Thors will beat eight Mutas, uh, and uh, the Marauders and the tanks and the SCVs they're just going to add to that. Uh, cats, uh, is, he's going to see this on the tower, and oh, just GGs right away. Not even going to play it out. So game one goes to the little one. Uh, excellent play there by TLO. Uh, tough luck for Cats. And that's going to be the first game in our series here today. Alright guys, we are about to start game number two of TLO versus Cats. I do want to say, uh, again, thanks to our sponsors, sc2rigback.com. Uh, they do have exclusive rigback deals for StarCraft II poker players, some of the best on the internet. Uh, switch your rigback to, to SC2 rigback, uh, and, uh, and it benefits eSports. They are, of course, the uh, leading eSports supporter in the, uh, in the poker rigback community. So please, guys, if you're a poker player, or even if you're just looking to get involved in poker for the first time, uh, check them out. Tremendous, tremendous asset to the esports community and to the poker community as well. So, one game down in this best of five series, uh, TLO is up 1-0 against Cats. Uh, next game is going to be on Zell Naga Caverns. I'm excited. I hope you are too. And here we are. 
Uh, this is the Insanity versus Creativity uh, show match. Liquid TLO against Root Cats. We have Cats as the Orange Zerg player spawning up here in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Dropping the good luck.